So this talk combines the, the latest ideas on the two spies of Joshua 2 with the 13th extension to our 552nd sub prediction for fire signs. So it's an all in one talk. As regards the spies, they go through the wall whilst the wall is still standing. And then they hide in the mountain for three days. And then they cross over and see Joshua. So they don't go through the wall and then go and see Joshua. There's a three days in the mountain. And the days in Joshua 2 are not literal because three of days is in there twice, which is a, a positive genitive or a enumerated genitive. So it, it counts as a noun. And the noun count is two, which means that it takes two different meanings. So the metaphorical is not the literal. So it's probably three years that are spent in that mountain after Laodicea fell into true church. Three three Zoe years would be inappropriate. Three secular years, three sacred years. Nissan 1, 2, Nissan 1, 2014 to Nissan 1, 2017. And then they come over. So we're none the wiser from that as to whether they come before the main fire sign responders or not. However, our new date for the fire signs is Tammuz 9, 10, 11. Really it's Tammuz 10, which is 4,000 BLC days after Sivan 1, the revised sign of Jonah letter. So that's 8 T Pentecosts from the sign of Jonah letter. So that's, that's 80 contest Pentecosts. But it's also 4,350 days from when the Watchtower became the Falls Church on Sivan 10, 2005. That will be a Sabbath, a release from being a servant to God, of a release from divine law, so that the Pentecost would come from actually Sivan 11. And if you count 350 days from that, you get to Sivan 1. So 4,350 would take you from Sivan 11 inclusively to Tammuz 10. So Tammuz 10, which is in a couple of days' time, it's actually the day before the Sabbath. So it's Thursday, Friday, July the 6th, 7th. So it's Thursday the 6th, Friday the 7th is Tammuz 10. That is the 87th Baalian Pentecost from when the Watchtower Prophets became Prophets of Baal by virtue of them becoming a false church. And it's the 80th Bilateral Contest Pentecost starting from Sivan 1, 2006, which was the revised sign of general letter which contained the prophetic first fire sign date we, we went with of Sivan 12, but the letter was sent on Sivan 1. So we've gone with these two satanic Pentecosts for the second and third fire sign. Now the reason we do that, the fire from the heavens ate up the bull and the woods, which counts as three times, and the stones, there were 12 stones, so that's 16 times, and the dust, 17 times, and it licked up the waters in the trench. So you've got 17 of these fire signs. Now, Peter stood up with the 11 in Acts 2, and there were tongues of fire on all 12 of the apostles. So that's 12 fire signs, and Peter said this is the fulfillment of Joel, which is pillars of fire and cloud and all the rest of it, and signs. So fire signs, 12 of them, referred to on a Pentecostal basis. So when we, as we did in a previous talk, came up with the next 12 fire sign dates, all the nuclear bombs until the Mark of the Beast comes in on Chislev 16 this year, 2017, 616 day, the 16th day of the 6th month of the Tamas one year. When we did that, we, we based them all on Pentecost festivals. And that's fine, except for the two fire signs which win the contest. Because the contest has 400 prophets of Sacred Pole, who are false prophets, and 450 prophets of Baal, who are false prophets, and 100 prophets of Jehovah. So the majority of the prophets were false prophets. So the, the contest is, is a satanic contest. It's a test on God, which is the wrong thing to do. It should never occur. There shouldn't be a test on God for people with faith. 
they should understand that, that he's God and everything will work out like he says. This is what happens when you're a God. But anyway, in order to win the contest, the contest is actually won at Satanic Pentecost because it is a contest with the prophets of Baal. So it's won at the Baalian contest. Yet all the other fire sign fulfillments, including the first fire sign in Israel, was the greatest fire in modern Israel's history, 2010 Chislev 20 to 23, across Chislev 21, which was the late 2 and Pentecost, or the chief of the 2 and Pentecost. So that was a, across a real true worship festival. And that's fire sign 1. And fire signs 4 through to 17 will also be, or certainly 12 of them, which would be 4 through to 15, given that we've had one already, will occur at True Worship Pentecost festivals. In fact, all 17 might, because you might get two fire signs on one date. We have 12, well, we, we actually have 10 more Pentecostal dates, starting Ab 5, where we have the fourth fire sign, going through to Chislev 11, which is the late fourth marriage Pentecost now. Hesh Van Eleven being the late, being the fourth marriage Pentecost. Actually, we've got one more because we've got Chislev Nine, which is now the fifth marriage Pentecost. All right, so we have eleven, one of which hasn't yet been added. Twenty seventeen Chislev Nine, the fifth marriage Pentecost. We have eleven Pentecostal festival dates between now and the Mark of the Beast. So that's eleven dates when we expect fire signs, the 4th to the 15th, or perhaps even the 4th to the 17th, where we have two fire signs on one day, but perhaps. So those are all the slots in which fire signs can occur, in the true festival slots. But, the, but this contest is won, in distinction to that, the contest is won because it's with Prophet Baal, and because the whole thing is a test on God, which is a satanic thing, the contest is actually won at false worship, well, at, at, at Bali and Pentecost, or, or, or testing of God Pentecost, or contest Pentecosts, and in particular it's, it's 2017, Thomas 10. I mean, we say 9, I, I think 9 is a bit of a long shot. We, I mean, the, the first thing is that the fire can begin on, the fire sign can happen, the nuclear bomb on, on, on Thomas 9 and, and burn all the way through Thomas 10, but also we, I had this idea that you could count seven Sabbaths in a Satanic Pentecost, but I don't think you can. Satanic Pentecost is just a 50 count. It's the festival Pentecost that have weeks in and are a count of seven Sabbaths and then one more. So I don't think Tammuz 9 really is that relevant. We expect it on Tammuz 10, possibly on Tammuz 11, which is the Sabbath, the weekly Sabbath. That's when, because on the 7th the attendant sees it. But more likely the sign is itself on the 10th and perhaps seeing by media reports on the 11th or due to time zones the attendance in the 11th when the sign happens on the 10th. Or remembering that the sign occurred in 1 Kings 18 after the grain offering had gone up, in other words it occurred after sunset and therefore in the next 24 hour day but in the same 12 hour daylight day. So you know in other words between the two evenings. So it, it could on that basis happen beginning of, of Tammuz 11. So that's one reason we went with Tammuz 10, Tammuz 11. The other reason, and there's several of them, the 4,000 days of the feeding in Mark 8 with the seven loaves, uh, with the seven baskets left over. Now we have that running as from the as authorised feeding of Laodicea from 2002 Chislev 21 when they were installed to feed to 2013 Shabbat 1 when they fed us a true church. That's 4,000 days of authorised feeding. But there's also 4,000 days of contest feeding of Laodicea because they, the contest, bilateral contest began 2006, Siman 1, and they will stop feeding when they see the second and third fire signs. And what it says in Mark 8 is that they took up surpluses of fragments from the seven baskets, which is two picking up from feeding miracles, which is a witness to two fulfilments. Now, the seven loaves in the case of the 4,000 days of feeding, of authorised feeding from, from 2002 Chislev 21 to 2013 Shabbat 1, the seven loaves would begin, uh, for the feeding of the one end seeds, would begin on 2006 
Tamil is 11, and it's seven years, taking us to 2013, and then you've got seven more months from Tamil's Ab, Elul, Tishri, Heshvan, Chislev, Tabes, Shabbat, of authorised feeding. In the case of the contest feeding, you'd have seven loaves probably from the Loaf Festival, which is the Pentecost on Sivan 6, 2006. That would take you to 2013 Sivan 6, and then you'd have seven baskets of fragments to Chislev 21, I suppose, when they started to spy. Or you could run them exactly in exactly the same way as we did with the authorised feeding. Not sure. You'd have thought it'd be the authorised feeding. I think you could keep the loaves the same, running from 2006, Tamas 11, when Laodicea was installed to feed the one in sea reserves, all the way through to when they fell as a true church. But the 4,000 days of the feeding could be, well, it most definitely is authorised feeding, 2002, which is left 21 to 2013, Shabbat 1, but also contest feeding, the 4,000 days of the contest from Sivan 1, 2006 to Tamas 10. 2017. So that's a rather neat proof, although you have to look quite carefully to see the two fulfilments of Mark 8. The other absolute slam dunk proof is the symmetry of the contest day about double light. Double light is when both the Lord's Witnesses and Laodicea were appointed to feed one NC reserves. We got appointed 2009 installed, sorry, 2009 Chislev 21, the late 2 NC Pentecost, and we continue to to feed with, with a double light until they started spying on us, which was 2013, Chislev 21, so a period of four years. Because when they start spying on us, they're relying on our light, not their light. So the double light period was four years. Now, if the contest started on Sivan 1, and, and you put this double light as a noon, because the word for noon is double light in 1 Kings 18 and in Hebrew, so the, this double light period of four years is bang in the middle of the contest day. So the contest day starts on Sivan 1, then it's three years and six months and uh, 20 days to get to 2009 Chislev 21, and then you go to 2013 Chislev 21 and count another three years and 20 days and six months, and you end up on Tamas 11, basically, or Tamas 10, depending on how accurate and how inclusive you are. So that is a very strong proof that this game is over, Tamas 10, Tamas 11. So that's another witness to that day. But there's more, because in Daniel 2, the stone hits the feet of this giant image of a man, of a man, that man is Adam. Adam is passed over and finished and no longer exists on 2018 Nissan 14. Now there are 10 toes after the feet, that's 10 months. The minimum it can be is 9 months and 1 day. If you count back 9 months and 1 day from 2018 Nissan 14, you end up on 2017 Tammuz 13. So that's the latest that the toe is going to appear. And the stone has to hit the, hit the feet, the two feet, the UK and the US feet, prior to the toes appearing. So in other words, the fire signs must precede 2017 Tammuz 13. So that they must be, you know, 12, Tammuz 12, 10, 11, I mean today's time was 9. And then we know from the beautiful symmetry of 1026 Tishri 7 when the fire came and cloud accepted Solomon's temple BC to 2016 Tishri 7 when our temple was accepted by the first answer giving us that very date of 2018 Nissan 14 being 11 prophetic times after 1943 Nissan. 14 when Abraham crossed the Euphrates, the date we already had. So that gave us the, the, the day of the end of the contest, but not the hour. So that was one fulfilment, and that was on the seventh day of the old secular year. But the seventh day of the new secular year, which applies to Zoa, and we're in Zoa, and that's the year we're under, is Sivan 7. And on Sivan 7, we got the uh, 11th ex extension to a 5th second sub prediction, and we got the main prediction extension to Tammuz 14. That, that was, would have been an answer from God just as the Tishri 7 information we got then was an answer from God. So we, we expect that to be correct which means that the fire sign has to be before Tammuz 14 2017. We already know from the Tentos it must be before Tammuz 13 and we know from the symmetry 
of the double lights, it should be Tammuz 1011, and from the 4,000 days, Tammuz 1011, and from the 80th contest, Pentecost on the 87th, Bali and Pentecost on the Watchtower, Tammuz 10, Tammuz 11. But there is more, uh, as always, which is that Solomon, in the account in 2 Chronicles 7, all of Israel celebrated, actually it was booths, with Solomon, from Hamath to the Torrent Valley, Hamath meaning, well, it's in Greek is Epiphania, which means Epiphany, in other words, the fire signs. So the Torrent Valley will be the, the flood of people into the church as a result of them, which begins at 17 and carries on. No, it doesn't. It, uh, the, the, all the waters are divided on Ab 17, which is because it's the 17th day of the second month of the flood timetable, when all the springs of the vast watery deep are broken in two. But the flood, the 40-day deluge into the church, runs actually from fifth marriage veil lifting day, which is now Tishri 27, to uh, 40 days later, which is Chislev 6. And then the Forestry Water Baptism ends Chislev 9, which is the end of the Tetra Menos for Map 10, when we start baptising people. There's quite a long gap between the fire signs and us starting to baptise, 30 days actually, fire sign responders. The point is that the third watched our Passover is when all of Israel is gathered together. And we did, with the previous chronology, have that occurring on Elul 14. And then we had Solomon sending everybody home on the 23rd day of the seventh month, which was which was true because there's a first Babylonian Passover with the cakes booths after it and with the solemn assembly on Tishri 22, so we thought, and so he'd send them home on Tishri 23. But the trouble is that was a different festival. So it makes far more sense to have the third watchtower Passover not on El 14 but on Tishri 14, in which case it's followed by cakes booths until Tishri 21, and then by the Solomon Assembly on Tishri 22, the 2 and C Assembly, followed by Solomon sending everybody home on Tishri 23. So the fact that he sent them home on the 23rd of the 7th month, and the fact that it was attended by all the saints, which is tr true of the 3rd Watchtower Passover, really indicates that that was the third, that the Tishri 14 is the 3rd Watchtower Passover, which means that Ab 14 is the 1st Watchtower Passover, which is where we now have it which is too cute. The other amazing thing about that is that we start baptising people in um, fire sign responders into the Lord's Witnesses and only in fact the one in sea reserves on Ab 10 which is Passover entry day, the first of them for the first watchtower Passover and that is temple burning day, that is when we should start burning the watchtower temple. It's ideal. It's a much better fulfilment than what we had in the previous chronology where temple burning day was in fact the second watchtower Passover which you could argue continues, the entry continues until Ab 12, and so in other words, on Ab 10, you began the final burning, which took another three days. But it makes a lot more sense to say we well, begin all the burning on Ab 10, which is the first day of entry for the first Watchdog Passover now. So Temple Burning Day works better, and Solomon really insists that the third Watchdog Passover is Tishri, uh, which it now is. And then finally, Peter can't come other than at a festival, a Pentecost festival, and the only the only one NC Pentecostal date left this year is the late second one NC Pentecost. So that would have been celebrated by people in Israel who missed the Nisan 14 Passover, so they could go to the ER 14 Passover. Then what they're supposed to do is is counter Pentecost from first fruits after that to the second one NC Pentecost, which this year was. Tammuz 5. But supposing they miss that, well they can go to the late version of that, that's Ab 5, which is the late second 1NC Pentecost. But this year it is coincident with the Zohar Pentecost. The Zohar Pentecost it should be Ab 5, and Zohar First Fruits, Sivan 16, that is when we became non adamic in 2012. But we couldn't have that as a First Fruits date because there was a Jubilee month. So you can't, and you cannot be appointed anyway in a Jubilee month. So then we thought, all right, we'll go to Tammuz 16, but you can't be appointed there, it was a weekly Sabbath. So then we had to go to Ab 16. So that was doubly late. We got appointed over Zohar doubly late on Ab 16. And incidentally, if you count the stretched out hand of Moses, that takes you to 2017 Ab 16, and then all the waters are divided in two, because you stretched out the hand to split the waters apart, 
they divided in two on Ab 17, which is the 17th day of the second month of the Tammuz one new secular year, and that's of Genesis 7.11. But going back, we had mistakenly thought that because we first fruits we were appointed on, which was actually a doubly late first fruits, was 2012 Ab 16, we thought that it would always be celebrated Ab 16. Wrong. We died to Adam, Sivan 14. We got resurrected to non Adam, to Isaac, non Adamic Isaac, Sivan 16. That was over first fruits. We got appointed two months late due to a bunch of Sabbaths. But in 2013, it goes back to Sivan 16, first fruits, over first fruits, and so Pentecost is Ab 5. So that leads to this fantastic new understanding that the last possible one NC Pentecost celebration date, the late second one NC Pentecost date this year, which is the, the day when they must turn up the one NC, so the descended Holy Spirit, to come and see this church in fulfillment of Acts 2, is also the Zoa Pentecost, which should kickstart Zoa, and that's what we now have it doing. So, it, it, as usual, it's a better fit, but as usual with my imperfect thinking, I couldn't see it until now. So, so we're expecting these fire signs on basically July the 6th, 7th or 8th, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday coming. Thanks very much.